Hello everybody and welcome. As we like to do every week, we like to take a look at the past week's market activity and then bounce on the market and look for something to trade. So if we look at the market over the last few weeks, here you go, you can see, obviously the last few months it's taken a big beating and over the last few weeks you can see it's been like slowly grinding upwards, basically going nowhere for the last week. This is the S&P 500. If you look at the NASDAQ, similar picture as always, and the Russell, also a fairly similar kind of picture. So, what are we going to trade today? And what also I'm going to show you is the power of what I call verticals. So, what we're going to do is we're going to start by going over to Tesla. And we're going to do a couple things I want you to notice. Number one is, where's the stock price right now? Well, for the last six months, it looks to be kind of right in the middle of the range. So, if I'm going to bet on where the stock price is going from here, and nobody knows the future no matter where the stock price is, but at this point it's right in the middle. It's a 50-50 shot it goes up, 50-50 shot it goes down. Also, earnings is over with. So earnings is over with. You can see the volatility has been extremely high for a long time, but now that earnings is gone, the volatility has dropped to basically as low as it's been for the last six months. So volatility is low. It's at a price kind of right in the middle of the range. We have no idea whether it's going up or down. It's purely a guess, as with any you know future bet on stock price movement. Nobody knows the future. So what's, what can we do here? So here's what I want to do. I'm going to go to trade page, and this is where I want to show out the power of verticals. First off, we're going to trade in this right here, closest to 45 days, the 39-day cycle. Then the market here, when I'm looking at it right now, is the market closed at 8.05, but the market is currently bouncing around a little bit it's still a little bit open like after hours kind of trading and you can see the stock price is actually around 801 so this is the stock price we're going to work off for this trade because that's where it is actually right now even though it closed at 805 tomorrow when it opens up it could be anywhere but we're just going to start with our assumption here it's right around 801 so here's what i want to show as a kind of analysis if i were to buy tesla stock right tesla is expensive so if I were to buy, we're nobody, none of us are really going to buy 100 shares of stock because if we did, you can see what that would cost us, $80,000. Very few of us have that kind of money around, lying around to make a trade. So buying 100 shares of Tesla stock for the normal person, not really a reality. And if we just bought one share of stock, that's going to cost us the 800 bucks, right? But what can we possibly hope for? with one share of stock. Like what could happen if the stock shoots way up? Let's say the stock goes up 50 bucks tomorrow. What happened? We made 50 bucks. That's great, but it costs us 800 bucks to hold on to the stock. And by the way, it can go down as well, right? The stock can go down 100 bucks tomorrow and we're down 100 bucks. The point is we can't make a lot of money on a trade when we're buying one share. Most people aren't going to do it. We can lose or make a f little bit of money. Maybe 50 or 100 bucks would be the range on this stock over the next six months or a year. Who knows? I mean, obviously it can move big moves, but that's kind of mo mo more of the time than not, that's the reality. You buy one share of stock, you're not going to make or lose a whole bunch of money. So what can we do that's like a cheaper variation of that? And that's where the power of verticals comes in. So here's what we're going to do. Again, we're starting here with the stock at around 801. So if I was somebody that thought the stock price was going to go up, what I could do in the stock is buy a call vertical. And what I do that, and how I do that is I buy the stock price just below, sorry, I, dry, I buy the strike price just below the stock price, and I sell the strike price just above it. I want the stock price to be between my two strikes. So in this case, I'd buy the 800 and sell the 805, and I'd buy a call vertical. And this is what it would look like. So right now it's trading for 195 bucks. Obviously a lot less than $800 per share. So what's the point of all this? Well, what can I make? What can I gain, etc.? So 39 days from now when this expires, in this best case scenario if things go our way, if the stock price closes at 805 or above, this call vertical is a full winner. So had I bought the stock and 39 days from now the stock closes at 805, I would have made five bucks. I would have risked eight hundred dollars to make five bucks, right? If it's if it closed at 805 in 39 days. But when I do a vertical, here's the difference. I'm gonna pay $195 for this, and that's the most I can lose. Now again, 
when I buy a stock, if there's a big move, I could be down easily a hundred or two hundred dollars on this stock price. We saw Tesla was like peaked at like twelve hundred, got down to like six hundred. So there's been big moves in the stock. So even owning one share of stock, there's some risk in it. I can make some, I can lose some, but there's risk. With the verticals, everything is defined. I'm gonna pay $195 for this, but I can make, if I'm successful, $305 on this trade in 39 days. And all that has to happen is the stock price has to close above 805 in 39 days. So that's the beauty of options, the power of options. They are leveraged, right? So I can risk a defined amount to make a defined amount, but on especially when it comes to big size stocks, when you're talking about stocks that are eight hundred dollars a share or a thousand dollars a share, the regular person like myself can't trade these. It's just not realistic. I'm not gonna buy one share of stock. What am I hoping for? If it goes to a thousand in a year, I've made two hundred bucks. If it goes to eight oh five in thirty nine days, I'll make three hundred and five bucks, right? That is the power of options. And this is where they're really useful especially with big price stocks. If you want to get in the game, if you want to play stocks you can't afford to buy, options is the way to go. So this is the example of buying a call vertical if I believe the stock price is going to go up. But what if I believe the stock price is going to go down? I do the exact reverse. I buy a put vertical. And in this case, I buy the strike price above the stock price and I sell the strike price below. So again, the stock price has to be between my two strikes. In this case, I will buy a put vertical. And there it is. I bought the 805, sold the 800. In this case, it's going to cost me 223. Obviously, a lot less than 800 bucks. So, what can I do with this? What's the what's the problem, you know, what's the benefit of this? Well, I'm essentially risking $223 today to make $277 in 33 days, I'm sorry, in 39 days. And the way I do this is, if the stock price is below our strike price of over here, $800. If the stock closes below $800 in 39 days, I just made a whopping 277 while only risking 223 instead of risking $800. And if the stock price barely moves in a month, I might make a dollar or lose a dollar, make five, lose five. Where in this case, I can make 300. I can't make $277 on this trade if I bought a stock unless the stock price went up 277 bucks. Obviously, much lower chance of that happening than having it close below 800 on a put vertical or above 805 on a call vertical. Again, that is the beauty of options. They are leveraged. We can play big stocks for small amounts of money. Everything is accessible to us if it has options. That's our lesson options. That's our trade for the week. If you're a Tesla believer and you believe in the stock price going up, you'll buy the call vertical. If you think Tesla's going to take a dive in the next 39 days, you'll buy the put vertical. And again, that is our lesson in the power of options. Hello, everyone. I thought it might be valuable to let you know of all the courses available on Udemy that I teach and also kind of what they're about and maybe what order to take them in. So I thought this would be a valuable little quick kind of introduction to all the courses out there. Now, for those that are in the middle of a bunch of courses, these three are essentially a set. This is a part one, two, three. So no matter where you are in this course selection, this is the order it should go in. It should start with understand options, then to basic option strategies, and then on to make and manage profitable trades. Just so you are aware. Again, you can see it says part one, two, and three, but not everybody sees that when they buy these courses. So this is good for beginners. This is good for people that want to refresh the knowledge they already have. But essentially, like I mentioned, this is the order you want to go in from top to bottom, understand to basic to make and manage. The complete guide to options here is kind of an overview of a bunch of different topics, but not in depth like the three above. So if you want to get a broad introduction to a lot of different kind of option strategy topics, this is a good one to look into. From there, we can go on to the advanced Iron Condor option strategy course. If you already are familiar with Iron Condors and you want to learn six different variations of it, this would be a great course for you to take. And for those who have been through the basics, kind of know verticals and iron condors and want to get into the advanced kind of option trading area arena, 
I have what I call a secret course collection. These are private courses that you won't find when you search on Udemy. So if you want to find them, you have to type in these addresses right here, and this will give you these courses on the right-hand side here, and it'll give you more detail about them. The password to get into these private courses is sharpertrades.com. And again, like I mentioned, these are private courses. So if you search my name on Udemy, you won't see this. This is my secret course collection, and these are all more advanced topics. So if you want to learn more, here's everything you can use to disco discover more courses on my site. I'm attaching this guide as a link, so you can download this. It'll take you to the courses. There'll be links in the actual document, so you can use that attachment in this little video section to download and click on the links there it'll take you right to these courses as opposed to having to type these in directly but if you want to learn more would love to have you aboard thanks for sticking with me and being with me on any one of these journeys stick with it we will get you to where you want to go take care